Hi, I'm Patu from Free and Cal. Today, let's talk about an interesting question I received a few days ago. Trading versus freelancing, which is better for a side hustle, that is for uh, an extra source of uh, income? On the face of it, this looks like a trivial question. This even looks like a silly question, but uh, there are some interesting insights in this. Now, before I begin, I want to make it very clear that uh, I have never been against trading. You, If you notice, many investors uh, tend to speak lowly of trading. I'm not one of them. I have a lot of respect for uh, traders, not all of them, some of the traders who appreciate uh, the market risks because the kind of risks that a trader sees is very different from the kind of risks that a long term investor sees. And uh, uh, just because they, they look at the market differently doesn't mean they're doing something wrong. And so therefore I have nothing against trading. But uh, from what I have learned, uh, from uh, other traders who I respect is there are several things. One is that the first thing that people should understand is in trading, uh, just because you see somebody tweeting saying I have got that much percent profit, this much percent profit doesn't mean that it's a lot of money. Uh, because if you want to start trading, uh, you need money to make money. I've said this before and this is something that traders say a lot of uh, uh, times. Uh, paisa se paisa banta hai as uh, there's one article by uh, uh, Amit Arora here, I want to use stock trading for extra income. How to get started? If you go to this article, he would say this. And uh, this just means that you need money to make money. If you want to, just because you get a huge profit, uh, doesn't mean that you have made a lot of money. So first of all, a lot of capital is necessary. And to begin with, many uh, young people will not have that much of capital. So it's not going to be a great source of income to begin with. And the second point is that what uh, uh, traders would advise you is that don't look at trading as a way to get quick income. Think of it as here uh, uh, as a long term source of income where you go through the grind. You have to go through the ringer. You have to get beaten down by the market a couple of times. Then only you learn. It's like if you uh, if you want to learn boxing, you're going to get black eyes and you're going to get bruises all over your body. That's the pro process. So you have to get through this process of loss of learning and it is only through that process you become better and better and better so it's a process and it's a long-term source of uh, side income and it's not a short-term source of side income and this is something that uh, people who want to get into trading must understand these are all not my words i'm just telling you what i have learned from other people uh, by talking with them over the years how they up uh, their approach to trading is uh, over the long term so it's a process and you have to go through that process so don't think of it as something that you will immediately be able to get also um, considering that you are going to risk your capital i mean you want a side hustle because you uh, because you are short on capital so considering that you are putting your capital at risk and considering the kind of kind of an amount of energy and time necessary what I would suggest is that people should think of it as a take a long term view and read it, read about it, uh, practice it uh, with a sh small amount of capital so they appreciate it and gain that experience over the long term and then get into it slowly deeper and deeper and deeper. But for the short term, because when people say side hustle, they're not they're, they're looking for immediate uh, benefit. I would say trading is not a good uh, option for an immediate side hustle. It is definitely a choice for the long term. Uh, extra income and there are many people who, who benefit from it many people who also lose a lot of money that's the point i'm trying to make you you don't you don't want to it's very easy to be one of those people who lose money therefore it's better to have a long term view so that you don't make mistakes and there's no pressure when the because once you make a once you get into trading and uh once you lose a couple of times the pressure to perform becomes more and more and that can be uh, that can lead to uh, further losses as well. So that is one view. The other thing is when it comes to freelancing, freelancing also is not going to immediately get you a lot of money. You can consult a freelancing, uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, a digital marketing agency and get uh, uh, some kind of gigs for uh, designing websites, content marketing, uh, social media management, that kind of things. But they're not going to pay you a lot of money because you, when you start with, you're not going to have a lot of experience. What you're going to do is gain things. You're going to lay, again, you're going to gain experience. So trading is also a process. Freelancing is also a process. In trading, you can, uh, you, for you need time and money. You're going to lose money in trading from time to time. In freelancing, you need time. You're not going to make much of money. So I would suggest considering that you are in uh, need of money, don't risk your capital. 
try freelancing try for participating in the gig economy there are many jobs they will not pay well but again it's a process but if you do want to uh, learn trading do it gradually and think of it as a long term source of income